In this tutorial, we create this interesting animation by just using the array modifier. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's make some abstract art with the array modifier. Select your default cube and then go to your modifier properties, add modifier, and we're gonna make use of the array modifier. Press Shift A, mesh, uh, shift A empty and use a plain axis. Press numpad 7 for top orthographic view. Select your default cube. Press G and chuck it somewhere over here. Once that's done, remove the relative offset. Minimize that. Expand the object offset. Tick that and select the empty. Once you've done that, press Control A. Apply all. Then press the empty and rotate this uh, 130 spaces and then press I, location, rotation, and scale. Click on your main thing over here and change this to 400. Select your empty, press S, bring it in to a shape that you like. So perhaps we start here and we press I, location, rotation, and scale. We go to frame 50, and then we press S and we just bring it out. Press I, location, rotation, and scale. We go to 150, and then we press R, 90, I, location, rotation, and scale. If we go back and watch this, this is the animation we created. Cubes appear, and then it spins like that. and creates an interesting pattern. And we can make the animation end at one, 60. Next thing we can do is select this and click on our modifier properties, add modifier, and we can use a subdivision surface modifier if you prefer. And let's give this a material. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's delete this. Let's zoom in, press Shift A, and we're going to use a shader known as a mix shader. We connect this to the surface. Press Shift A, shader, we use transparent, we connect this to the bottom. Press Shift A, we're going to use a shader, emission. Then Shift A, search, type in layer, layer weight. We zoom out, Shift A, layer, layer weight. There we go. And connect the face to here. Next thing you want to do is go to your material settings and change from opaque to alpha clip. Let's change to render view so we can see what we've got. And you've got a few options here. You can go for alpha blend. or But the one I want to go for is alpha clip. You also can also go for alpha hash. Alpha clip, okay. Next thing you want to do is choose a color. I'm going to give it an emission of 5 and I'm going to change this to 0 0.9 and because it's too simple if it was a face it should look cooler so I'm going to have to just change to alpha blend right click shade smooth and there we have it and last thing I can do quickly is go to the world settings change this and make it completely black Go to our render settings, turn on bloom, ambient occlusion, screen space reflection, press numpad 7. Currently our camera is, yeah, I don't think the camera will, will look cool. Let's take a quick look. Ah, looks good enough. And uh, I'm quite happy with that. And what we could do... is press numpad 7, press G, press control A, apply all. Go to the render view. Cool, now it's not in the scene. That's perfect. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.